Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah Engineer site YouTube channel. Dear friends, today I am going to share with you my interview with Niyam for the Niyam of Rural. I will share full detail of the interview with you. From the first question till the last question and you have to watch this full video for the full information without skipping any part of the video. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Dear friends, as you know that I already uploaded my interview with the contractor. So the procedure is that first you have to attend the interview with the contractors, initial interview, technical interview and after that they will submit your CV to the NIOM for the uh, NIOM approval. How to get the NIOM approval for this I will make a separate video because this video will be go long if I share all the details in one video. Here in this video I will share only the questions which the interviewer asked me in the interview because all the answers I already uploaded in different videos in the civil engineer interview question and answer series. So let's start. The first question, it was a general question he asked about my experience that how many years of experience I have in Saudi Arabia after graduation? This was the first question. The second question he asked, the experience in quality department. After that, he asked questions about documents of Quebec Kiosk Engineer. Like first he asked some abbreviation. He Ask that what is ITP inspection test plan, what is NCR non conformance report, what is the meaning of ACI American Concrete Up Institute, what is the meaning of SOR site observation report. The fourth question he asks attachment for MIR material inspection request. So I have uploaded a detailed video on MIR how to submit MIR, what are the important attachment for the MIR so you can watch that video for the detail then the fifth question was body of ITP what will be included in the ITP so I have already uploaded a detailed video of 30 minutes on ITP inspection and test plan so you can watch that video for the detail the sixth question is ICL inspection checklist details that what will be included in the inspection checklist. So as I told you that I have also uploaded a video on the inspection checklist so you can watch that video for the detail. The seventh question what you will do before starting putting. So after that he start questions in the artwork. So before the start footing RCC you know that there is an artwork excavation after that you have to backfill the area with approved structure fill till the required level then you have to compact it as per standard and you have to do the compulsory test for that area and after that there will be anti-termite spray and 250 micron plastic uh, sheets and then you have to do the fcc the eighth question which class of soil we will use under the structural elements like footing so under the structural elements are footing or slab on cut we will use a1 a soil the other questions is also about the soil the earthwork he asked that what will be the aggregate size of a1 a soil then the test question what you will do before starting concrete what you have to check before starting and you have to check the approvals for a concrete reinforcement WIR form work survey report batch plant max design everything will be approved and then you have to check the general arrangement for the concrete then he asked for the tolerance of form work what will be the tolerance of form work in our project specification is about round about plus minus 4 mm then he asked about the slump values which I already discussed in the many videos of KVK was engineer, civil engineer, interview question and answer. Then he asked about the temperature of concrete. 14 question. He asked, if cylinders of concrete fail, what you will do? So I have also answered this question in many videos. You have to 
first for from the non destructive test if not satisfactory then you have to take the core cutters from the side and you have to test that if it also fails then you have to check the percentage of the strain the 15 question he asked that what is the what is the AC, uh, STM code for the slump test is STM C39 is STM reference number for the slump test okay he asked another question that if slump test and temperature is not at first standard uh, the value is not so what you have to do if the slump is down from the value so you can add flush decisor to get the if it is high so you have to wait for some time if the temperature is higher so you can some add some ice cubes but with the approval of consultant but the temperature high mean if acceptable is 32 it like it is 35 36 but it is 40 41 39 so at that time you have to reject the concrete okay the 16 question he asked that what is foam concrete foam concrete is lightweight concrete which we use in a slab sometime for water flowing areas to not make the loads and the 17 question is a class of concrete used for the structural structure elements so it is c35 generally we use c35 the concrete compressive strength up to 28 days will be 35 mpa the 18 question he asked that test for the steel when you receive the steel so for which kind of test you send the steel sample to the laboratory so generally we use we perform the steel send the tensile strength test for the steel and sometimes also to check its diameter that diameter is as for standard or not like if it's 16 mm so you have to check the thick, the diameter of the steel that it is 16 mm or down or up left length le over left length of the steel so it is 50 d 50 multiplied by diameter of the uh, steel sci code for slump sci code for tolerance is bitumen fan left length if you are making bitumen water propping so what will be the left length for, for the two layers 23 question number 23 he told he asked our question that if you complete waterproofing for a roof or slab so how you will test that waterproofing so we have to test that waterproofing or slab by leak test then he asked another question what will be the duration for water to put there or to so you have to uh, fill the water and that areas where you want to do the leak test for 48 hours as per our project specification and then he comes to the architectural work that how you will check the paint quality and the last question he asked about the block SC series that what are the block SC series like mesh ladder corner bit lead etc so guys these are the round about 25 questions which he asked me in the interview that alhamdulillah i answered his questions properly 95 percent because two or three questions i answered but not properly i was confused in that but inshallah i will get the approval and tomorrow i will upload a video that how to get approval for the near what are the proper procedure but one thing you have to keep in mind that if you are in Tabuk area and Niam area so you have to go for the physical interview and that time they will also take a test MCQs I think 30 MCQs something like that and you have to also attend the test but you are not in the Niam then you can also request them to conduct an online interview so guys if you have any question regarding this video you can ask in the comment section and you can also contact me through my social networks links are available in the video description and the about section of the channel thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to our youtube channel if you are a new viewer like the video and share it with your friends thank you so much